I have 48 hours to create a game, but I can only use this free art kit. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, let me give you some backstory. Mizizizizizizz, a game development YouTuber, has a series where he challenges different game developers to make a game using the same art kit. Following the idea of this series, he hosted a game jam where everybody had 48 hours to make a game using the same art kit. This was the art kit I decided to enter. Let's begin. As soon as I saw this, I had an idea. Okay, I didn't actually have an idea. But after staring at this tile set for six hours, I think I have an idea. I'm pretty sure this is Yoda. So after spending the first eight hours of the game jam figuring out what to do for the next 40 hours of the game jam, I actually had an idea. Finally, I wanted to create a survival game where you try and survive on a deserted island, but there are waves of monsters that come out and try to kill you. So basically, you collect resources, try and build a shelter, and then when the waves roll around, you try to survive. Using the sprite sheet, I designed a little island. I like how it turned out visually, so this was the style I decided to roll with. I say, like I had a choice. <laughs> now that we had a very simple engine running, it was time to add a weapon. I know what you're thinking. Deserted island. You'll probably have some cool craftable weapons like wooden swords, bows and arrows throwable rocks. Nah, I just, I just went with this gun. I added in an axe as well, which will be the first tool that the player can use. I added in a shooting mechanic, and now it was time to add the first enemy, zombies. My plan at this stage was just to make a zombie survival game if I ran out of time, so that's why I went with zombies first. The AI for the zombies is pretty simple. They're given a random speed within a set range, so some zombies may be faster than others, and all they do is move towards the player whilst avoiding obstacles. I added in a health bar, heart, heart bar, health, health system, health. I added in health. We weren't doing too bad for time, considering it took me three years to come up with an idea, so I decided to start adding some survival elements. With your axe, you can chop down trees to get wood, and use this wood to build a base. This was the first survival element I added. This was fun to play with, you could basically build a base, and hide from the zombies, or so you think. Zombies can actually eat through the wood. Since this was the most basic survival element, I didn't want to make it too OP, but it can help early game. Also, if you're wondering about the zombie blood splatter, I could I couldn't find any blood splatter in the art kit, so I just went with whatever this is and coloured it red. <laughs> trees now drop saplings, which can be used to replant trees. Since your wooden bases won't last forever, a constant supply of wood is required. Now the game had an attack element, a building element, and a farming element. Pretty cool. I added in some chickens. If you lose health, you can get some food from these guys. An important thing to add to the game was a more solidified wave system. Originally, I thought about making this game endless, so the scoring would be based off how many waves you could survive. However, since in this game, if you wanted to, you could just camp, I just decided to make it a total of seven waves you need to survive to win the game. To get a higher score, you must be actively killing enemies, which gives players less incentive to just camp. The wave system was pretty simple. If a wave was active, the game would spawn enemies. If a wave was not active, the game would not spawn enemies. I know many beginner programmers and game developers may not understand the complexity of this system, but that's okay. You can always subscribe to my channel to learn more about game development and advanced systems like this one. It was time to create more monsters. I didn't just want zombies to be the only enemy in the game, so I added some new enemies, including little zombies. Basically, these guys are like normal zombies, but smaller and faster. So they're harder to hit, but also take less time to kill than normal zombies. Giant zombies. Basically, these guys are like normal zombies, but bigger and slower. They also do more damage and take longer to kill than normal zombies. I also added in a skeleton enemy who is very similar to the normal zombie. He's just a little faster, does a little more damage, and takes a little longer to kill than a normal zombie. Here are some enemies that I never used. This ghost enemy was going to be able to fly through obstacles, and this lava enemy was going to be able to shoot projectiles. These are two enemies that would have been cool. After the third wave, you get a pickaxe. You can use the pickaxe to mine stone, get cobblestone, and then use the cobblestone to build a more solid base. The game was basically finished, so I decided to take the next 10 hours off. Big mistake. 
<laughs> the game was nowhere near finished, and we only had under five hours to submit. First things first, I wanted a hotbar. This way, at least the player knew what item they were using and what items are available to use. After adding in some sound effects and finalizing everything, the game was complete. And it was not the best game I've ever made. It was the second best game I've ever made. No, in all honesty, Game jams are about having fun and learning, and that's what happened. I enjoyed making this game, and I enjoyed participating in my second ever game jam. If you want to check out the game for yourself, there is a link in the description. But before we end the video, I'm gonna play the game. You probably won't survive, so um, will I survive? Let's find out. So as you can see, the main menu has a, a variety of different options. All right, let's begin. Let's play, and uh, here we go. So obviously to start, we uh, need to chop down some trees. You, you've been watching this video. You know how to play this. So I'm really happy that I went through with putting a putting a hotbar system in, even though it isn't the best hotbar system in the world. It's the second best hotbar system in the world. It just helps with the game. So we're gonna start by building a base and um, I'm not sure if I wanna camp this game or if I wanna uh, actually fight some zombies, but we'll see. Okay, wave starting. The issue with wood is it's so easy to be broken. Um, all right, let's do that, that, that. Overall, there's a lot more things that I want to add to the game. It was literally only for a 48 hour game jam. So of course it's not gonna be the most insane game in the world, but uh, there are a lot of things that I do want to add. So would you guys be interested in seeing me uh, work on this game a bit more? Wave complete, easy. I could work on this game a bit more, maybe uh, make it a proper full game. Let me know if you're interested. Yeah, this game is super easy if you, if you just want to um, camp. But I think it's more fun to try to go for the high score and try to get some kills. Uh, nice. Wave complete. I'm looking forward to the end of the next wave so we can finally get our pickaxe. You know, I'm going to start planting some trees because I've got 22 saplings to use. Build up our defense. Yo, I, I just realized the trees actually grow pretty quick. <laughs> My bad. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try create some pathways to actually shoot the enemies so we can get our score up. Like for this guy here, he's gonna be able to come straight through once he gets that wood, but... Oh God, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea, I'm cornering myself. I'm pretty sure the wave's almost over anyway. There we go. And now we've got a pickaxe, so uh, we can really get this game going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this wave to get all as much cobblestone as I can, and then I'm gonna make a sick fortress in the middle of the map. So that's our uh, that's our game plan. All right, I didn't get a chance to mine as much cobblestone as I wanted to, but that's fine. What we can do is we can just uh, take this round off. Yeah, enemies can't get through cobblestone, so. <laughs> Bit of an OP trick. I don't know what you think you're gonna try and do, but you, you're not gonna be able to do it. Look at him, he's trying to figure out a way in, but he, he, he's not gonna be able to figure it out. All right, we've got quite a lot of cobblestone now. We should probably uh, start thinking about building a base. We, we'll do it uh, after this wave, though. You know, I'm talking about building a base, but I've got a pretty good, uh, Pretty decent setup going on right here, to be honest. In the midst of all this stone, it's a nice little setup. Look, you got all your enemies that come here. All you have to do is a little trick like this. So if I put a cobblestone there, and a cobblestone there, and a cobblestone maybe there, and then I chop this cobblestone up. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, well, that would have been cool, but yeah, I'm pretty happy staying here, to be honest. I got a chicken uh, stuck in the wall. This is uh, looking nice. Oh God, okay. Nice. You know what? We're actually going to make a uh, another enemy pathway here. So something like, oh God. We're wasting precious scoring time here. So what we'll do is we'll get that there and then maybe one more. Yeah, that, that should work. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach, so never mind. Here, you guys will just have to come through here then. Should I? Should I do a hole? Oh no, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. This is actually quite terrifying. Nice, wave complete and they were all just gone. <laughs> Our base is looking like a bit of a mess, but that's cool, that's cool. You know what? We're going to, uh, we're going to give them a door. If they can figure out to get through this wooden door here, they deserve to come attack me. That's all I'm saying. So I'm just going to chill at the back here and uh, I'm going to plant a nice tree. Oh, there he is. There he is. You see him, the big dude there? Oh God, I think I think one of them has actually figured out how to get through the door. If you can get through this door, now I'm going to be impressed. I've just realized I have 308 cobblestone. Oh God, and I'm dying. Oh no, 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 no,
So that happened. So that is, uh, you probably won't survive. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. Peace.